Hello everyone, my name is Sandeep Singh Gupta and you are watching Electric Vehicles. So in this video, we will be creating awareness, consumer awareness about a new product that is specifically made for electric vehicles and is about to hit the market. We will speak about what that product is and why do we need that product, do we really need that product is probably the main focus of this video. So we know about Gulf Oil Lubricants India Limited and they have tied up with Altigreen. Now Altigreen is a company that makes electric three wheelers, commercial electric three wheelers and it is backed by Reliance. Together they are making a product called EV fluids. Now what is an EV fluid? Uh, a fluid that is made specifically for electric vehicle is of course an EV fluid but what is this fluid all about? It is under two categories, one it can act as a lubricant and then there is the other category where it acts as a coolant. Now why do we need lubricants? Whenever there are moving parts these moving parts when they come in contact with each other they produce friction and friction results into heat and wear and tear and that uh, uh, ultimately results into breakdown of the machinery and therefore we need to lubricate the moving parts. Now of course in an electric vehicle the number of moving parts are about 90% less than what is uh, what you find in an petrol or a diesel vehicle in an ICE vehicle actually. So lubricants are also used in ICE vehicles, petrol and diesel vehicles. So why can't we use those lubricants straight away into EV vehicles. The company says that in an EV vehicle of course yes the number of moving parts are less but the moving parts have a very high RPM, RPM is rotations per minute. So the RPM is extremely high in case of an electric vehicle and therefore arises the need for special lubricants. Now speaking about coolants they inform that coolants are used in batteries to dissipate the heat to dissipate the extra charge that is being built up basically to keep the battery health at proper optimum level and ensure safety. And since electric vehicles have special needs therefore the company says that we do need EV fluids. Now this is where the video ends in terms of knowledge and we start talking about awareness now. Sometimes artificial demand is created, uh, a, a product is forced into us by creating a hype around it so that we start buying it and it is ultimately done to benefit the company that is producing it. So we need to be aware as consumers, we need to be aware, we need to do our research regarding this product and uh, we are also in the process of doing research because mind you this is a new technology, this is a new product that is coming into the market, not much is known about it but we need to be aware as consumers before we start adopting this because if we can utilize the same existing coolants or existing lubricants that uh, are used for ICE vehicles and mind you these are produced in large scale and large scale production means less cost per product. Also availability will be better. So if you can use the existing liquids, existing coolants, existing fluids into our EV, EV vehicles then it will be cheaper and uh, more convenient and more easily available. Do we really need a specialized uh, product for this just because an electric vehicle has uh, let us say a high, high RPM or produces more heat in, in the battery. It is like saying an electric vehicle has high acceleration and therefore a company comes up and says that you know what the regular tires will not work therefore here is a tire that we made with special rubber and you know more hard and more better grippier or more resistant to wear and tear. So before we start adopting any product we need to do our research and uh, this is the first step because like I said this is a new product completely. We invite our viewers to do your research as well and if you happen to know anything about it, if you have heard about it then do let us know in the comment section and you will hear from us pretty soon. Go green, go electric.